Senator Martha McSally was inching closer in some of the polls we've seen, and earlier today she made her closing argument for another term in Washington. Team 12's Mitch Carr is live in Mesa. He's following the McSally campaign. Mitch. Good afternoon, Mark. You know, the closer we got to Election Day and the closer we have gotten to the closing of the polls on Election Day, the busier Senator McSally has been. Yesterday, she flew all around the state. Today, she's been all around the valley. We have video from her from earlier this morning. She was at a polling place in Mesa. She brought along her dog, Boomer. She calls him her secret weapon. McSally has been consistently polling behind her Democratic challenger, Mark Kelly, in this race. In fact, the latest NBC poll had Kelly up six points, and that was enough to account for the margin of error in that poll. McSally lost her previous Senate election to Kirsten Cinema by just over 3% in 2018. But as Senator McSally herself said this morning, the polls and campaigns don't matter as of today. This is not about me at this point. This is not about whether you're like an astronaut or a fighter pilot. Uh, this is about each one of the people that are out here voting. It's about them. It's about the future of their families. It's about whether they want to continue to have an America where you can live the American dream and you can be anything you want to be. You work hard, you get ahead, and you reach your full God-given potential. Now, this is a race that will get national attention because the balance of the power in the U.S. Senate is at stake. Any Senate seat that changes from Republican to Democratic hands could potentially change the control of the entire chamber. Senator McSally campaign says she is not having any sort of a campaign event or watch party for the results. That is partly because of COVID and also partly because of the uncertainty surrounding all of these results. I asked, well, how is she going to be watching the results? Will she be sitting at home watching them? Will she be with her staff at an office? I did not have a response, but rest assured, she's going to be watching those results come in somewhere. Reporting live, Mitch Carr, 12 News. All right, Mitch, thank you.